Hello guys, this is Vex. Uh, today I'll be teaching you another way how to fix uh, DX12 uh, crash issue on the Division 2 game. Um, I put the link on the description below on the first two fixes that I have on my channel. If those two fixes, if you did uh, manage to do those two fixes already and but still you're still getting crashes every time you play the game, uh, you can do uh, this, uh, you know, these fixes that I'm gonna that I'm gonna provide you today. So what we're gonna do first is, um, for most people that has NVIDIA uh, GPU, I'm not quite sure with AMD, but for NVIDIA, we usually turn on the shader cache because if you turn it on or enabling it, uh, will reduce stutter and improves load times. So we need to enable that one. But if you enable that, it's gonna save some files automatically on your drive C or your primary drive um, so every time you play or before you play the game you just need to clear that one up you just need to go to your drive C right click on it and uh, uh, click on properties this clean up button and you can just you know check these you know these uh, boxes here like download program files temporary files thumbnails and then the rec x shader cache okay we just need to clear that one up and then after you clear that up uh second step is uh you need to delete the temporary files as well so you just need to click on the magnifying button you click on uh percentage temp percentage you type type that on the search box and then you just need to clear uh you need just need to clear this one up okay but I already cleared my one earlier so yeah there are some files that you really cannot delete but it's okay uh, just delete all the files that you can so if for some reason all of these fixes that we did still doesn't work on your end the number one culprit would be your MSI afterburner if you're using MSI afterburner um, this one will usually cost this most likely is causing the, the crash so I tried to do a, an experiment on my end I did not use this afterburner for three days and I never did have any crash at all for three days of gaming uh, the division 2 playing division 2 so you just need to yeah close this one up and don't don't use MSI afterburner but the problem is you can't see your GPU temperature and your CPU temperature um, you might want to try to download some other applications or maybe uh, maybe your your motherboard already has a built-in application where you can monitor your temperatures that might be useful as well but uh, you know if you did all the steps already uh, and you still getting crashes that might be the last resort which is to turn off or never use MSI afterburner in the division 2 game in playing the division 2 game all right so guys um, if the steps did work you know uh, I really appreciate if you click the subscribe button the bell button and then you like this uh, click on I mean like this video as well uh, but if it doesn't uh, just leave the comments below I will try to look for other fixes. Alright. So thank you. Uh, until next time. Okay.